Welcome to another edition of Spooky Reviews from Spooky Ventures. This is our 109th review video, and in it I'm going to be looking at a Blu-ray release of Cruel Summer. Just to clarify, this is the slasher movie from 2021, not the earlier film from 2016. They did make an attempt at clarifying that by listing it as Los Bastardos Cruel Summer. The premise behind this movie is that a group of college students go on a road trip to have an 80s style party at an unoccupied house. The party is going to be a murder mystery bash and they all put their cell phones into a bag because people in the 80s didn't have cell phones. Unfortunately for them, a real masked killer shows up and starts doing his thing. This is a low budget affair and it feels like it in some ways, but it also manages to rise above those limitations. The cast is all solid. Um, given this level of film, that's not always the case. There are some weird little plot holes and inconsistencies. Um, a lot of the characters do some really stupid things. Then again, that's pretty much a trope in these kinds of films, so it's kind of expected. For a good portion of the, this movie, uh, this feels ju like, like just a showcase of kills. The thing is, those kills are often creative and brutal. Some of them aren't the most believable, but they are all, for fans of slasher films, cool. You can overlook a lot of things if the kills are good enough, and the ones in this film are. And they made an effort to give this an 80s sort of vibe, too. That comes with the music that's used, and just the general flow and feeling of the movie. I think they did a pretty good job of capturing that, right down to the obligatory nudity. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the story here because I don't want to provide spoilers. The one thing I will say is that to a point, if you've seen a good number of slashers, you know that the plots of them are generally similar. Killers are likely to have different motivations, and there are often twists that get revealed, but the whole pattern of the killings is basically the same from movie to movie. Uh, this doesn't disappoint on any of those fronts. It does a good job of capturing all of it. I will say that I didn't see the twists in this one coming, and that's really kind of a good thing. The Blu-ray comes with a number of bonus features. Of those, the making of featurette is the most compelling. Then again, as I often say, you don't buy movies for bonus features, and you don't watch those as often as you will watch the movie. Uh, the film needs to hold up, and for what it is, this one definitely does. If you're a fan of low-budget slashers, you should give this one a try. It's a bloody good time. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.